How many times did you watch match of the day after that? That was messy, man. <laughs> I'm, not proud, I'm not proud of how many times I watched that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never going to disclose that one. Welcome to First Impressions. As you can see, I'm joined by Ebbs. You might know him as Eze. Brother, welcome to First Impressions. Welcome to SGP. Thank you, man. Thank you for having me, man. So you know how the game goes. Pick up a card. I want to know your first impression. What first comes to mind? England memory. First England memory. Probably the first time I deeped it, like what it meant to play for England was when Rooney scored against Brazil. And he scored that mad goal. I was like, this is, this is serious, man. man. So that was probably my, the first time I saw, okay, cool, this is sort of where the level that I want to get to, for sure. Where are you watching? Was it, was England games big in the household? My dad, man. Locked yeah. in all the time, man. <laughs> Locked in at all times. Any England game he's watching, so seeing him do that, watching the level of play that's, that's going on as well, you can see that that's the dream right there. And I was obviously young, so obviously it's a journey getting there, but it's, it's good to be here now, man. Shout out Pops for that one, you know yeah, what I mean? Man, now he's real, watching man. this going, you know what? <laughs> I remember that day, and now we're here. He knows still, he knows. <laughs> Grab another one. Uh, ooh, England hero. Tough one, the player that, that really, when you watched playing for England, you were like, that's the guy. For me, Dave, what David Beckham done, not even just football, but everything. Yeah, yeah. He turned the whole thing into something else. Seeing how he carried himself and how he handled the, the position that he was that he was given. So for me, that's that's probably the, the biggest one. Some of the moments, obviously, scoring against Greece looks Scary. special. Scary. He's like, he's taking it on himself. He's taking responsibility and that's the type of player you want to be, man. Goal celebration. Do you plan this stuff before is it, is it, or does it just come to you naturally? Some of them you plan before. Yeah. So I've got friends and my boys and my brothers yeah. that always tell me, like, well, when you bag, you got to do this, you yeah, got to yeah. do this. So you've got them in your mind, you know, but it's about whatever feels right at the time, man. That's, Sometimes that's you, how you find that you score and you're just so gassed. It's like you forget the celebration. You never know what to do anymore. You're just, you're just like, <laughs> one of them ones. That's <laughs> no, true, it's true. <laughs> you, you, you try to control yourself and, yeah. and compose yourself so you can think of what it is you want to do, but Sometimes it's too much, man. South London. Jeez. Obviously, Palace is South London, but it's, yeah. actually, it's South London. It's you know what I mean? It's got, there's a different vibe in that yeah, dressing yeah, room. Yeah, yeah. For me, it's, it's just so good to be part of that team, that environment, the culture of the whole place. is just something that I haven't experienced before. Being able to be involved in it and adding to it as well is, is a huge blessing. The vibes in that dressing room must be immaculate. <laughs> it must be immaculate, man. Right? I'm telling you. No, the vibes, the vibes are good, man. The yeah. vibes are Because everyone's just, Everyone's cool, everyone's bought into the environment and the culture that, that, they, that we have there. So anyone that comes in, is, you feel comfortable, you feel welcomed and it's, it's expressive. You're free to do what you do and because everyone's got different qualities, different yeah. things that they do. So it's, I think that's important as well in football, man. It's being able to express yourself and, and be yourself. What is it about South London? Because there's a few South London ballers that come through these doors. There's so many different aspects and and parts to it that you won't be able to articulate and explain. There's something, there has to be something for there to be so many players coming out of South London, whether it be cages or whatever, but they have cages everywhere else as well. So <laughs> nah, South London, that's in my heart, man. Sam Johnston, obviously in the dressing room with you boys. Now, he's not he's not from South London, you know what I mean? He's, he's a manny boy. Like, I heard he's coming around talking to a few people saying, like, ooh, it's different in that change room. <laughs> yeah, of course. He's learning it, a lot of new stuff. <laughs> the lingo is crazy. It's South London, so you know, even anywhere in London, to be honest, you know that the, the way people speak, all these little the slang is different, but we're teaching him, man. He's, he's, yeah? he's getting there, he's man. He's learning, he's quick learner. Way. He's on his way, he's on his way. He's on his well, way. you know what? We're going to get him on a video. We're going to get him a little South yeah. London <laughs> test. Yeah, we're going to say, how you South London him, are you? Test him. <laughs> see what he's on. Yeah, I'll see what he's on. <laughs> Next one. Pre-match playlist. What's in the AirPods? What's in the, what's in the headphones before you go out? I'm a piano, man. I'm into yeah? that right you, now. You know what I mean? The Heavy, shoulders man. moving. <laughs> Moving the golf. <laughs> yeah, I'll be serious about this music thing. Um, I don't know what it is about that type of music, yeah. but it just gets you feeling certain, man. I listen to a lot of gospel as well. Okay, yeah. So I mix those two throughout. That's probably what I'm into most. I guess you, to, you know, I guess you vibe before you go out. Correct. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. it. Yeah. The call up. Tell me what your, your when you first got the call, how did you get the call? How did you find out? Who did you tell first? I got a text message before I went out for training. Coming from training, checked the message and saw just a huge wave of emotion. Yeah. In that moment, you're thinking of everything that you've been through and whatever, yeah. so it's a, it's a huge moment. Got on my phone, called my wife, told her straight away, and she was just so, so happy for me, so excited. As I called my, my brothers, my family, yeah. I could just feel that energy and how happy and pleased they were for me as well, so that's a day I'll never forget for sure, man. What was the reaction for yourself like did you know it was coming or is it something that kind of come out of the blue a little bit you don't know that it's coming because yeah. you can't really know i obviously know that i'm playing well and i know yeah. that i'm scoring and, and affecting games and playing well i'm thinking that there's a chance but there's nothing that can 
prepare you for that moment when you get the message and it's like, okay, cool, you've actually been chosen. So for me, that was just, everything else before that didn't matter, it was just that. That's you realise that like, it's all been for this reason, you know what I mean? I'm seen as one of the best players in the country at this moment in time. That's the biggest thing. It's not because of a favour or whatever, yeah. it's because I've actually worked hard and deserved no it. So for me, grateful to God to be in this position always, man. Palace players. We spoke about it a little. There's been a lot of Palace players who've come through the door. When you got the call up, did you speak to anybody? Did you say like, oh boys, what's it like? What's mm. it gonna be? Yeah, it's, it's good obviously, because you've got people that have gone before and you can sort of find out what it's like and how people move here and stuff like that. So it's definitely helpful for me. Like coming in, I feel so much more settled because I've got guys that yeah, yeah. I know, even though I know some of the other guys as well. It's different when you've got your own actual teammates and stuff like that. But yeah, a team like Palace, having so many players that are coming through, it's a testament to the players themselves, I think. The coaching staff that are giving the players the opportunity to, to play and perform and shine. And for me, I'm just hugely grateful to yeah. grateful to God to be in this position because I know that this can go so many other ways, but for some reason, it's, it's me here today. Did you ask for any advice? Did anyone give you any little friendly piece of advice? Or just like, oh, by the way, like, da -da -da -da, like a little bit of information that you were like, thank God I knew that. So Mark speaking to me before, he said to me, he's like, the intensity out which like the guys train here is different. Yeah. Is that you'll notice at the moment, the first session, you'll see it, you'll feel it. You realise that you've got to be at your best in yeah. order to even just be in place in here. So and I can see now that the level is honestly yeah. it's it's incredible and it's the level that you want to be at, the level you want to be playing at and it's definitely good for my improvement, yeah. my development as a player man. Players player. Players, player. Who's the, you know what I mean? Who's the, who's the favourite of the bunch? You've been there, what, three days now? I don't know, man. There's a few guys, man. Yeah. There's a few. That's what's good about this place. I don't think it's just one guy. Yeah. I can see that there's a few characters in it that create the environment. Seeing how uh, Ramos is, yeah, yeah. He's bit, his energy is it's it's top tier, yeah, man. Top. James Madison as well. You can see that. There's a group of them that, yeah, that create it's the, loud. At times, they're loud, but it's. it's positive energy yeah. and it's in, including everyone. Yeah. The way people are here, yeah. you connect with, you can connect with all of them, you're having combos with all of them and it's, it's not like you're on your own, yeah, yeah. which is important, especially again, as someone that's, this is my first camp, seeing what it's like, having people welcome you makes it so much easier. Not just here, but on the pitch as well, you feel settled too. Who's so, the yeah. first person that kind of welcomed you into camp? Other than the guys that I mentioned there, yeah. probably Kieran Trippier. Yeah, yeah. He was good man, just with, even just small conversations as we're yeah. doing, like pre-act and stuff like that. It was probably him that probably helped the most with the first initial day when, yeah, I, when yeah. I come. So, yeah, grateful to him, man. Shout out, Trip. Missing out on Euros. Damn. Yeah, you know what? We're taking it, we're taking it to a serious, a deeper <laughs> level, obviously. Injured, missed out on the Euros. Talk to me about how that felt. Would that give you a, a little extra motivation to, you know what, I'm coming back? Obviously, I, I didn't really know too much about it at the time. It was more just like, I'd been injured. I got a message. I didn't know that I was going to the Euros yeah. or whatever. So it wasn't as if I had that expectation, but it was a, a difficult moment because it's like, oh, look at how close yeah. you could have been or you are. But yeah, as you said there, for me, my faith in God is like, I believe that everything happens for a reason. Things that happen, I know that it's working out for my good, so I don't need to be worried or fearful or whatever. Although, of course, it is difficult when you're going through it. I can look back now and see that that's been the building of my character and it's helped shape me. Without that experience, I might not be here in yeah, this yeah. position today. So I don't look back on it as something I wished I'd, like, didn't happen. I see it as it was part of the journey and for sure it spurred me to, to keep pushing, keep working and get me to where I am today. The journey. The journey is, you've had an interesting journey, a journey of ups and downs. Talk me through it, where it started. Got signed at Arsenal when I was nine, nine to 13s. Uh, got released at 13s, Fulham, Fulham to 16s. Halfway through under 16s at Reading, got released again. Went on trial to Millwall, got in. After two years scholar there, got released there. Went to QPR, and that's probably the, the start of me becoming okay. the player that I am today. Looking back on all of that, I see that as, again, same with the injuries, it's stuff that helped me become the person I am today with resilience, with courage, bravery, and determination to get whatever it is that I want. In fact, those setbacks, those difficulties, those trials, you might not be as strong as you are today, yeah. you might not be in a position. So I'm grateful, I'm grateful to God. At the time, you're, you're not. That's of the course. difficult thing. Yeah. At the time, you see it as, why is this happening to me? Why do I have to go through this? You're looking at all your boys get contracts yeah. and stuff like this. And if I had it my way at the time, I would have said, now nah, I want a contract. But yeah. looking back now, I can see it was part of God's plan for my life. And I'm grateful it happened how he wanted it to happen, yeah. as opposed to what I wanted to happen. So yeah, it's all, it's all part of the journey, as it says there. So I'm grateful. How as a young kid do you go through all of that trials and tribulations in football and still have a 
keen love for the game and still wake up every morning and go, you know what, this is the game I love, this is what I'm going to play, I'm going to go, I'm going to go out and get and achieve my dream. I speak to my mum about it the other day, yeah. I don't actually know why I continue to go. It wasn't like my parents were forcing me or whatever, I just, I just seemed to love football so much. Without the love and the passion for something, you stop. Yeah. 100%. So for sure, that passion, that love, that desire to want to improve and be the best player that I can be, that's the reason why, why I'm here, man. Was there something that clicked? Where, where it, you, it started to go right for you and you were like, oh, do you know what, I feel comfortable and confident here now. QPR, when I yeah. first went there, as soon as I signed Paul Hall, Andy MP, Chris Ramsey, they just, I could see that they believed in me. And for me, I feel like that was, a, that was the biggest thing. A group of people that said, okay, no, we believe in you and we see that you can actually reach this level. Yeah. Good game, bad game, it didn't matter. They still continue to push me and help me develop. Yeah, it was at that moment I sort of realised I could become a professional football player and be playing every single week and doing all these types of things. So again, that's another set of people that I'm, I'm grateful to. There's a, there's a lot of people that I'm grateful to for this journey because without them, we don't know how it could have went. Yeah. So, because I've had so many other managers before. So, yeah, very grateful to them. SGP. SGP, St. George's Park, <laughs> right here. Obviously, it's a place that you must have known. What was your first impression coming through the door? Obviously, you've been here with um, 20s and 21, so I've sort of experienced it and seen it. But this is obviously a bit different because you can see the level of attention around it all. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm grateful to be here. It's a crazy facility. You just got everything that you need, man. So there's no reason why you can't do what you do and express yourself fully. What's one thing you would you would bring to SGP that it doesn't have from home? That's a mad question. I know, I stuck you on the spot there. At Palace, back home, we're having jerk chicken <sighs> at lunch, man. So I maybe. told you it was South London FC, <laughs> boy. It's mad over maybe there, they, boy. The maybe. vibes are immaculate. <laughs> Maybe that could yeah? be Get a little yard food shop in the corner of STP. <laughs> I see where you're going. Imagine. I'm all for it. I'm signing, I'm signing a petition now. Next one. Roy Hudson. When you see that, what's, what's your first impression when you hear that name? Someone who's obviously been big in your career. Yeah, he's, he's helped me so much, man. From when he first signed me to when he just come in towards the end of the season. He helped me at a start with like, getting used to things and understanding what it takes to be a Premier League player. But in the last that like few months, it was more just allowing me to be free and express myself and do do what he knows and believes that I can do. Huge credit to him because he, he saw that in me. I'm grateful to him also because he's helped me to sort of regain the form that I, I know that I'm capable of. And he believed I was capable of as well from the first day that he walked in, he was saying it. I knew that he's someone that has that's sort of got my, got my back and wants me to do well. How does he have the energy? Come out of like a little mini retirement, comes back, just goes, you know what, I still crazy, got this. Man. Honestly, it's crazy, man. If you see his energy around the place, yeah. like he's on the pitch, still running around and <laughs> doing half volleys and stuff. He's half volleys, yeah? Man. He's top, <laughs> he is top, man. I'm telling you, doesn't. I haven't met anyone like him before. No one. Uh, last one. Last one. Scoring in the Prem. Was it one of your finest moments in football? What was your reaction? Mm. What was your thought? I know you liked to, you got the celebrations on lock now. Did you have the celebration on lock then? <laughs> nah, I didn't, have, <laughs> I didn't have anything at that time. <laughs> at that time, it was more just like overwhelming emotion yeah. because you're thinking about the journey and what's happened before and where you've come from and to be in a position where you've, you're now playing in the best league in the world and scoring and affecting games. It's like things that you've dreamed of. I've had that on my mind from from yeah. young, a huge moment for me and long may it continue, man. How many times did you watch Match of the Day after that? That was messy, man. <laughs> I'm, not proud, I'm not proud of how many times I watched that. <laughs> I'm not even going to disclose that one. You know what? That's a great place to leave it, bro. <laughs> Ez has been class. Thank you, man. That's first impression. Thank you very much.